Hi everybody, happy Friday. This is Kathy. Um, welcome to Yarn with Heart. I'm trying something different this week. I'm having no training wheels. So uh, usually I write a script and read from a script and this time I'm going to try just being um, mostly without a script and try and see how this goes. So first off, I wanted to say thank you so much to everybody for the well wishes in the comments and the emails last week. I really do appreciate it. I'm feeling um, some better than last week, as you can tell. And I hope that everyone out there on YouTube is doing well. Also, um, I, I am feeling a lot better. I did a lot of napping last week. I didn't get quite as much crochet and knitting done, but I still do have some things to show. And uh, next week, not sure what next week is going to be about, but I sure really appreciate the comments and people who subscribe and like. And if you uh, take a moment and subscribe and hit the like button, I'd look forward to seeing you again next week. So this week, um, what I've got to show, of course, are some hats and scarf and hat and cowl sets. Um, I missed a couple of days of crochet, so there's a few less than usual. But what I tried to do was focus on color work this week. And the first one, this one is the Mosaic Beanie. It was uh, by Brienne Maudlin. And um, this one, there was a YouTube uh, video on this one. Um, there were two different hook sizes that were needed. I do have to look at my notes here to see. I used a 5 millimeter on the brim and a 5.5 here on the um, body of the hat. Oh. Now, I used this Premier Basics worsted in the color Mustard between the hat and the scarf that I'm about to show, I used the full seven ounce uh, skein of this. And to do the contrast color, this is all that I had if the contrast color left after I had finished both of these. This contrast color came from Cambridge Fibers Limited in uh, yarn by the ounce that they sold. So this and this mustard color, they went together quite well. I didn't refer to the YouTube tutorial when I was doing the mosaic, the pattern, which is free on the blog or available on Ravelry. And I will link to both down in the description. Um, those worked out really well for me because I've done a bit of mosaic before, but anyone who's new to mosaic, you can definitely refer to the YouTube tutorial on that one. I made a scarf to coordinate with it. I made it as long as possible using um, the leftover yarn. It's not as long as some of the scarves that I have made. This one was a pattern by Helen from Sunflower Cottage Crochet. There. And I trimmed it with the variegated yarns. <clears throat> this one's called the Highland Men's Scarf. I used a six millimeter hook and it's a paid pattern available on her website or Ravelry or Etsy. And again, I used the leftovers from that hat. Here, I'll just show you basically what the length is. So it'll tuck in nicely inside of a coat for somebody when I donate it. 
that's the first set of hat and um, scarf that I made. The next set, um, I really liked this yarn. This one I had never worked with before, and it came from Cambridge Fibers Limited in my advent box. This one is the Karen Colorama. It was 6.3 ounces and 180 grams. I used almost the entire, uh, I don't know if you call them a donut or what it was. This ogo came in a circular shape. And I divided up each of the colors. I made this Karen Ogo Fading Shades knit hat. I cast on 68 stitches. This is a, a free pattern. I downloaded it from Ravelry. The Patterns by Yarn, Yarnspirations. It, the color of the Ogo that I used was Baja, B-A-J-A. -A. The brim I used a 4.5 millimeter knitting needles and the body of the hat I used a six millimeter knitting needles. I really like this hat. And again, this was color work. It was stranded um, knitting in this area. And then with each of those leftover yarn balls, I made a cowl. And this one is a Karen X Pantone. Um, it's a cowl I made with casting on 84 stitches with the cast on and used the remainder of that yarn. Six millimeter needles and in a 24 inch circular. This is a pattern by Jacqueline White, and it's a free download on Ravelry as well. This one turned out really quite nicely as well. Now, the next things, um, I have to say, those ones I worked on very quickly once I started feeling better midweek. This one that I'm wearing, this is my bird of the month make along. Judy's Creations in Crochet had a very pretty bird this month. I'll put a picture. You can see the picture up here. I didn't just do this one this week. I had a start on this earlier, so I just completed it at the end of this week. Um, it's called the Warlock Wrap. It's by Selena Baca. Um, I used a five millimeter hook and Lion Brand shawl, shawl in a ball in the color Lotus Blossom. And I'll show you the cover of the book that this pattern came in. It's also a pattern available on Ravelry. Um, I have this book, Crochet in a Weekend, and I got this pattern from this book. Here you can see her version. She used um, a different yarn. I think it might have been a worsted weight yarn for her version. Let me check. Uh, No, I think she might have used a sock weight yarn. So yeah, that's the book that I used. And I really enjoy doing the Tropical Bird every month and look forward to what this coming month's tropical bird will be. This shawl is not going to be a gift for somebody. This one's going to be my shawl. I really enjoyed working on it and um, am enjoying wearing this one. 
It's nice because I can wear it like this. And I also can wear it in this way as well. So I like that it has different possibilities to it. There we go. Um, the next thing is the book of the month, Crochet Along. This is from Crochet with Nona Brazana. And it's also my gift cupboard item for this week. Now, last week I did Maggie's slippers. And Aunt Maggie's slippers, you can look at those ones um, on a previous video if you like. The uh, picture, I'll put it up here in the corner if you'd wanted to see how these coordinate with the picture. There's some white and the blue. There's two shades of blue and also the, um, I guess it's a jute color or a uh, light beige color in the slippers. Now this week, what I did, I found a picture for an invigorating face scrub set. This was by Amy Kate Sutherland, a free download on We Crochet. And in keeping with a spa basket theme, I thought this worked out really well. And I used a 4.5 millimeter hook, Lily Sugar and Cream in white. And from Cambridge Fibers, I think I got this from Cambridge Fibers Limited, maybe in the advent box. This color, when I looked up um, different versions of Lily Sugar and Cream, this one might be a jute color. It didn't come with a ball band, so I don't know for sure. But that I think will be very pretty. And what I also hope to do in this white color is sort of a headband so that someone can hold their hair back if they're doing some sort of a face mask or um, something of that kind. So these items all together with a headband, I think would be nice to put as a part of a spa basket. And maybe I'll put a little gift card. I know a few people's favorite uh, place to get essentials that they might use in the bathroom for uh, a special day and keeping it to feel pretty with. And so there we go. And that's the gift item for this week for the gift cupboard. And again, I uh, ran out of energy, so I didn't get a chance to make a headband, but I will do that later on. So I hope everyone has had a good week. Thanks so much for being here. And I hope you enjoy your crochet and enjoy your knitting. I look forward to seeing you next week. Take good care.